In this video series, I work with Paris, who is a two-year-old by Columbus VWNZ, out of a mare that I imported from Australia called Pia, who's by Sarah Cassiago. Paris is a gorgeous little filly. Uh, she's been pretty easy from birth, but she has had very little handling, and I don't like to handle my young horses too much. I like them to uh, be able to pick up all four feet and marginally lead so that I can have them trimmed every six weeks and move them from paddock to paddock. But as Aside from that, especially in that first year of life, they really don't have very much interaction with me except for me going out into the paddock and scratching them and sort of getting to know them a little bit. Uh, so for Paris, she's very, very green when it comes to the training side of it, but as a yearling, when this series started, I decided to bring her in and begin her training process. So at the yearling stage is when I start to teach them body control and lateral work and get them working over obstacles, wearing a cover and loading onto the truck so that if anything goes wrong and they need to go to the vets or we need to do something with them they've got a basic understanding and ideally the earlier we can do this foundational work the better so that when I go to start her under saddle as a three or four year old she already has an, a basis of understanding. What I don't want to do is leave her unhandled till she's three or four, and then bring her in and be like, okay, in six weeks we're going to be walk trot cantering you, because it's often a bit too, I think it's too much, and it's too much information without any understanding behind it. So I bought Paris in, and started off with just teaching her uh, how to lunge in and out, how to give me a little bit of personal space because she can be a little bit pushy. And then once she's sort of got the idea of that, I moved on to working on obstacles. Obstacle training is a really big part of my work. I think it is fantastic for building bravery in horses, teaching them how to target an object, and it also prepares them for moving on to truck loading, float loading, etc. And she was very good at the obstacles, quite an inquisitive and curious mare, uh, and so mastered that pretty well. I then took her into the round yard and did a bit of obstacle training over different um, objects such as the mattress, noodles, a little jump etc and she is quite curious so she was good in many ways but uh, threw her toys out of the cot a little bit because she was away from her friend so you can see her energy very much comes up she becomes very anxious and wants to move her feet isn't able to think and so during that session my job was to help her regulate her emotions to bring her energy back down I find a lot of horses they don't know how to regulate their emotions they their stress response turns on and then that's it they can't come back down out of it and of course when you're riding a horse like that it's not particularly safe so on the ground is where I want the horse to throw the toys out of the cot so then I can be like okay I'm going to help you find relaxation find stillness again teach them how to switch their thinking brain back on and then later on when I go to start them under saddle if something goes wrong they have the tools on how to regulate after I had done a bit of obstacle training I did a bit of rope work getting her used to ropes around her back end and under her stomach and then moved on to covering her and then started to prepare for truck loading truck loading is something that uh, usually is a very easy process once you've taught them body control on the ground and you've worked over obstacles and so Paris was fantastic she loaded uh, very quickly and uh, is going to be a very very cool me I'm excited to be filming her process uh, next season when she turns three years old because I'll be backing her and I think she is definitely one of the nicest horses I've ever bred so I'm really really excited about her future